on this episode of Counting Cars. Good Lord, I love this truck. Honestly, I've already seen some numbers on this. We're probably about 35% into the budget. Oh, it does have swivel seats in it. Uh -huh. Get out of here. <laughs> you roll the window down, you get a full chaise lounge. <laughs> Ryan, come on, brother, bring that beautiful truck out. Wow, what can I say? This is Counting Cars. What's happening, Ryan? What's going on, Danny? We just had a client drop off a beautiful 55 Chevy truck that belongs to the dad, and they want it done up to the nines. Now, I love these trucks, but this one's going to be a bit more of a challenge because this is a little bit more than just a gift for their father. So I'm getting with Kevin and Ryan so we can go over all the details on this because we got to get this baby just right. 55 Chevy, step side. Yeah, she's beautiful. What are we doing with her? This 55 Chevy is a memorial to the family, and so it really means a lot. It's extremely important to the family. Uh, you know, this is something that they're going to keep forever. Tragically, uh, they, they lost their mom. So this is a very important build, and we really want to pull out all the stops, and we want to do something really cool that, uh, that you know, breathes a little happiness into the life of that family right, right now. You know what I'm saying? I can imagine. Yeah. The first thing we're going to do with this baby is all brand new chassis. Who good, because yeah. this contraption was really concerning me with our name on it. I, I'm with you. I'm going to get a whole, whole new frame, suspension, everything, whole new chassis set up straight from TCI, boom. That's top shelf right yeah, there. Yeah, top shelf. And what's really cool is they brought us a gorgeous truck to work with. I mean, the condition of this thing is, is really nice. Body is very nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I even dig the fact that it's a long bed. I know, the visor. That's my favorite part. <laughs> I love the visor. Even the chrome, I mean, it, it needs to be polished up a little bit, but it's in great shape. I mean, all we have to do is pop it off, send it, either re-chrome or polish it, and it's done. I know it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. You know what else I'm digging, man? Is the fact that this truck has all of its trim, all of the side badges Everything. and the hood badges, got all that kind of stuff. The chrome around the cab. Right, I want to put that. all that back on. Plus, the way they want to build this truck, all of that chrome is really going to pop because let me tell you the colors that they're looking for, dude. You're gonna you're gonna like this a lot. Yeah. It almost is black, but it's like a deep dark black cherry. You know what I'm saying? My favorite color. I love black. That's not black. You right. know that? <laughs> right. In the bed, you know they want to do this whole bed like it was, you know, with the wood and the and the, and the polished runners, the stainless runners, and all that kind of stuff on there. Right. But they want the wood to be done in like that ash-stained, deep brandy wine, purplish mm, vibe. Thank you. You know thank what I'm saying? You. Man, a nickel on this paint job would look like a million dollars. Right. Oh, man. Right. Thank you. Thank Thank you. This truck's like gonna that. be beautiful. I'm so honored that the family trusts us with such an important project. And I know Ryan loves the style of this truck and Kevin loves the shape that she's in. And frankly, I do too. This is going to be a badass truck. But memorials are tough, so we've got to keep in mind the real reason behind this build and it's got to be done to perfection. So I'm gonna make sure this truck is done and that it's done right. I'm gonna go get with the guys. We'll start ordering some parts. Let's get this thing tore down. Let's get rocking on this. This truck's already done. It's already done. It'll be bad. You know what we need, my brother? We need a muscle car. We need a muscle car. Right. It's been a long time. Right since we played with the muscle car. Right. We just sent that cool old 55 Chevy over to Sandblast, and I am hoping that she's going to look just as good underneath as she does on top. While we wait, I figured I'd grab Ryan, we jump into my old truck, and cruise around, see if we can't find a new project to take home to work on. Uh, interesting down the right. Impala, Camaro. Uh, is that an old Jag? I had one of those when I lived in Florida. Yep. Yeah. Ain't nothing there we can quick flip, though. Oh, uh, I know what that is. Yeah. Convertible Mach 1 and another Mach 1. Oh, my gosh, gosh man. Is this where Mach 1's go to die? This is, yeah, this is Mach 1 heaven right here. This guy's going to want money, this dude. This is another collector. Yeah. We got to find something we can buy cheap. Yeah. Dude, here we go. Here we go. Right here, right here. Now, this is what I'm talking about. That, that's an Oldsmobile. Cutlass 442 
I know what we can do to this car. Works for me. Let's see. Let's see if we can't make something out. Well, let's see if it's somebody home. <laughs> that would be cool, and probably affordable. This is a real 442 too, man. It's got the right oh, hood and everything. It does. This is actually one of those cars where you can paint one color, the one right color, mm -hmm. and let the body speak for itself because it's got those coves, the right. cutouts, and everything. Aren't they beautiful? This is right up our alley. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going not, I'm not going to do it. What do you think? Ain't my home? <laughs> There's a car out front. There's a, there's a, a newer car out front. So you would think somebody might be another car. Ah. This is right up our alley. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going not, to not gonna do it. Ryan and I are out trying to find our next project for the shop, and we spot this way cool looking old 442. And I'm really hoping that there's somebody home willing to talk about it, because I'm already seeing what I can do to this car. Ah. How are you, sir? How you doing, brother? I'm uh, doing fine. I'm Danny, nice to see you, brother. Yeah, Danny. Right. What's happening, my brother? We uh, we couldn't resist. All the better, goodie. You 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 got a minute? Sure. What year is she? Seventy-three. Seventy-three. She's absolutely beautiful. The American muscle car era wouldn't have been the same without the Oldsmobile 442. The name refers to the four-barrel carburetor, the four-speed transmission, and dual exhaust. Since the competition in the muscle car market was so great during the 70s, Oldsmobile improved their 442 package with a 455 cubic inch V8, which gave the ride 365 horsepower and 500 foot-pounds of torque. This started as an option, but would soon become the standard 442 engine. During the mid-70s, due to its combination of power, luxury, and style, the intermediate grade Oldsmobile Cutlass series was one of the most popular lines of its era. Tell me about this car. It's a genuine 442. Yeah. Here's the lever for the, whoops. Oh, it does have yeah. swivel seats in it. Uh-huh. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Every car should be like this. I do, you know, and to think, OK, they did this in 73. This is parking lot hangout. I want one of these in my house. <laughs> you roll the window down, you got a full chaise lounge. <laughs> That is insane. That's beautiful, dude. And I know we got some rust on the flip side. Yeah, because it came from Colorado. Well, shockingly, even for a Colorado car, it's not bad. I dig it. What do you think? I Ryan? love the front end. I love the car. I know. I love it. I was sold at swivel seats. I'm not going to waste your time, but I am curious. Is it something that you would sell? Mm -hmm. What did you get? You, you know clear? why? Because yeah. I'm moving right now. Well, then, yeah, man. If you need, if you needed out of your way, what would it take to take this baby home? I don't know. This is a rare car. Right. right. Rare. R we already know that. Yeah, exactly. Rare. Exactly. Because of its obscurity, I really want to go educate myself and come back proper. I'm going to be around here a few days, so do your homework and then give me a figure. OK. Now, I know my classic rides, and this one is rare. And rare can be tricky when you're looking for a flip. It's not like it's a Mustang or a Camaro that everybody loves. This one's a narrower market. This 442 could be worth a chunk of change, or maybe just change. I'm really not sure. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm going to find out even if I got to come back. You rock, brother. Thank you very much. I see all kinds of potential. The day was worth the drive. <laughs> well worth it. called master call me master i'm not master of anything we've been working non-stop on this 55 chevy pickup that came in a while back and since it is a memorial for the owner's wife we really want to do something special on it to honor her memory i've already got a ton of work on my plate with this paint job alone so i'm gonna go talk to mike and see if there's any possibility of him actually helping me out so this is a 55 chevy pickup truck i really only need one thing from you this is very important I need an in-memoriam on the firewall. Memoriam? Yeah. Yeah. Clean. Classy. Especially on the classy part. So this is all you. I got it. You got it? Yeah. You sure? What am I putting on it? I'll get all that for you. I'll get exactly what it's supposed to say for you. But I need it clean. I need it classy. You said that. OK. Maybe you can do some research. Maybe you can look up some classy memoriams. Start looking at headstones. Why? That's a good... Why would I look at headstones? You really want to see headstones on? I just want you thinking clean, classy. I want tears in the eyes of the customer when they come and pick their truck up. I got it. I want that moment. You got that? Yeah. I know you can do this. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm just talking to some grumpy teenage kid when it comes to talking to Mike. I'll probably end up being the one who actually does the memorial. 
but I figured I'd give it a shot. How about the baseball trunk? We did the memoriam, right? Right? I thought you had something to show me. Kev, I wanted you to come down here today because I, I want to talk to you about this 55 Chevy pickup truck. We just got this 55 Chevy back from sandblasting, and she is a whole lot worse than I ever thought. I know once Kevin starts seeing some of these bills, his head's just going to explode. So I'm having him come down here and look at this project himself so you can see exactly what's going on. We're putting a lot of work into her. It turned out to be a whole lot more than was expected. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to be seeing bills coming across your desk, mainly hours and labor uh, with metal fab. The old firewall was just so rusted out. Okay. Uh, tons of holes, mm -hmm. lots of rust. The other really huge thing was when this truck came back from sandblast, Yeah. the entire roof was, it was literally, it looked like a beehive. It was so rusted out. I mean, wow. it was just holes. So believe it or not, we have cut the roof off of this truck and replaced it with another roof. Honestly, I've already seen some numbers on this, and I was wondering what in the world we were doing. We're probably about, you know, about 35% into the budget. Yeah, and, and uh, we're, we're further along than that on the truck, mm -hmm. just so that you know. I mean, I would say that this truck is probably 60% out of fab. It's, uh, it's one of those things, man, yeah. where it's just coming out so nice, I don't want to cut any corners. I want to, I want, right. I, it, it's, it's, it's going to be wicked bad. But just remember, we do have a budget. I can see by the look on Kevin's face, he is not happy with the money we're spending on this truck, but a memorial job like this is very important. Plus, it's an honor to have the privilege of doing this truck. And one thing's for sure, I am not going to call the family for more money. This is just going to have to fall under the price of business and being a good person. You know, we still have other bills to pay. I know. You know. It's about the people. But we got to take care of our people, too. You'll figure yeah. it out. So let's see what he's got I'm to say. You do all the talking on this one. Thank you. Ryan and I are back over at John's place to talk about that 73 Olds 442 that we spotted and chatted with him about the other day. I did some research. I got a number I'm gonna throw at him, so I'm hoping that this deal's gonna go down before he's gotta leave town. What's up, brother? Danny, you're back. <laughs> well, we came back, my man. Uh-huh. Just like I promised you we would. And I told you I'd go back home, I'd do my homework, mm -hmm. I'd do a little research. And you saw how rare the car was. You couldn't find one on the internet. Yeah, I like the car. That's why I'm bugging you. That's why well, I'm it here. it looks cool when you look at it from a distance. It's got cool lines. It does. But because it's it's not that money car, it's not the sought after car, it has to be customized to a point where it really stands out from all the uh -huh. others. That starts to get real expensive. For me, I've got to really just almost steal the car. So, uh -huh. so to make sense for me. But you're stealing a treasure. <laughs> but I gotta polish that treasure. <laughs> <laughs> so, with all that being said, I'm just gonna just come out and tell you. I'm not gonna have to kick you off the lot, am I? I, I can, I, I give you, I give you two grand for the car. I, I know, I know, but like I said, I have the to. The wheels and the I, tires I'm the are, are two grand. I know, I got gotcha. you. I understand. And I, I know you're in business. I know this. I know that. But I know it's a rare car, so rareness counts or something. You know. I don't know. I definitely feel that I got to get more than that. I well, know I'm still it's, standing it's super, in your driveway, and we're I still talking. I know it's a super rare car. You ain't throwing me off yet, so yeah. we're still talking. So what do you think? I'm thinking maybe 4000 What are you thinking? I know how much is going to go into this car to I make know. it right so it sells. Uh -huh. So it's going to be expensive paint, expensive bodywork, expensive motor. Would you then, then uh, just, would you meet me in the middle and just call it three and call it a day? I'll send my guys up here. You hand them the title. They pick up the car. It's out of your hair. What do you think? It's not out of my heart, but. I understand that feeling. I really do. Is I've it cash? Some... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you got a deal. <laughs> Done deal. <laughs> Done deal. <laughs> and, and for the heart part, just so that you know, she will get nothing but love. Uh huh. I really wasn't sure that John was going to take this deal, but I am so happy that we get to take this baby home and make her gorgeous again so she can go back to turning heads. 
Now maybe Kevin might get off my back about the money I'm spending on the 55 Chevy because I know this 442 is going to be a profit. John, you're awesome. Hey, thanks you're a lot. You're going to be here all day, right? Yeah. yeah okay, okay. Later on today? Just give me a call. Notice call. The cats are coming. When we started this old Chevy, we knew it was going to be a challenge. The kids wanted to build this truck for their father as a tribute to their late mother. And then, to add more pressure on top of that, when we got the truck, she turned out to be in a lot worse shape than we thought. When I tell you this truck needed everything, man, I'm not kidding you. We had to put a brand new chassis just to even get started, and the body needed complete fabrication. Right down to the fender well, we cut the roof off the cab and had to replace it with a whole nother roof. But I gotta tell you, man, with everything we had to do to this truck, she is so gorgeous. It's one of my personal favorites. Now their dad, Bill, is here to pick it up, and I can't wait to see the look on his face. I gotta ask you a few questions, though. All right. I gotta know the story behind this truck. I'd been looking for one for about a year. Okay. Procrastinating, I'd find one, it'd get sold. Yeah. And my wife came in and said, hey, look, here's this truck back up for sale again. And uh, so I called, talked a guy and set up to have it delivered the following Friday. Right. And then I lost her on Tuesday. I am sorry. Called and told the guy I didn't want the truck. And my, my kids, Billy and Brittany, talked me into keeping it. Mm -hmm. And then Billy, without me knowing, emailed you guys. And here we go. And here we are. That was cool. Yeah. That was very, very nice of them, man. Yeah. They're, uh, that's special. Yeah. This whole, this whole, this whole it thing is, is because if it was left up to me, I would have let it go. Yeah. Well, I think there was too many important forces that say Bill's supposed to have this truck. Yeah. So I think it's time for me to quit rambling on about it, and it's time for you to see it. I'm you ready. ready. You ready for this? Yep. All right, brother. Here we go. Whew. Ryan! Come on, brother, bring that beautiful truck out. <laughs> She's all yours, brother. Take your time. Wow. <laughs> this is sweet. When we stripped this old Chevy down to the metal, we learned she had some serious rust issues. I mean, fab and body had to basically go ballistic on her. We replaced the entire roof, floors, you name it, an all new rolling chassis and complete updated suspension. And now she's solid and straight as a pin. Then we made sure to update all of her mechanics, so even though she's old, she drives like new. And man, does she roar. We put a blueprint small block 400 cubic inch stroked out Chevy engine in her, a turbo 400 transmission with 373 posi gears that makes this baby get up and go. And finally, Ryan topped her off with a gorgeous deep brandy wine color and made sure the tribute to mom was unforgettable. And I gotta say he did just that because this truck is definitely something that I won't be forgetting for a long, long time. It's beautiful. <laughs> like to hear that. That's what we like to hear. Let's wander around the back. Yeah, this the thing... back is the important part. Yes, absolutely. Because you had a very specific uh, request. Yeah, this wow. is, um, I don't have the words, man, but uh, Dolores got the words. And uh, Mike did the artwork, and uh, Ryan did a beautiful job in, in laying them out. What can I say? Classy. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, that is unbelievable. Amen. And it's 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 a, it's a beautiful choice, man. Proverbs three five through six. Come on, doesn't get any better than that. Now we're on the sunshine side of this baby. You can see even more the way this color pops. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, it gets better. We, we still got lots of we good got more, stuff. We got more to go. All the chrome on her, obviously, is everything is all brand new. Oh, there's trouble. What? Oh, no. right, Dan, you know. I apologize. I, no. I, 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 I apologize for this interruption, do, Bill. Do, do not, do not apologize. <laughs> what? This is the most beautiful truck I think we've ever done. Oh. That's shocking, man, because you, you usually pick on something. Well, usually I have a problem with something. I don't have a problem with a thing on this. You can turn this truck inside out, and boom, it looks just as good. Yeah, there's nothing to pick on, is it? Brother, please, make yourself at home. Look at that smile. See, that's what uh, I want to see right there. You <laughs> that nice. smile. That's what I'm talking about, man. This thing is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, every once in a while, a project comes along that just blows me away. And this truck happens to be one of those projects. And frankly, I'm a little sad to see it go. Hey, hey, you can be the first to leave uh, some tire marks on Danny's new concrete. <laughs> and apparently, even horny Mike's going to miss her, too. How's that feel? Awesome. But I know she's going to a great home, and frankly, I'm honored that we got to build such a special project for Bill and his family. Beautiful. Bill? All right, Beautiful. thanks, Thank you very much. Thank you. Glad you like it. It's unbelievable.